Welcome to part 1 of a three-part comprehensive tutorial on Arctic Fuse 2, the latest iteration of the Arctic Fuse Cody skin created by JurioMonkey. You can find this skin in JurioMonkey's alpha repository. To install it, begin by navigating to the settings menu. From there, go to system and scroll down to add-ons. Toggle on unknown sources. When you enable this option, a warning prompt will appear about the potential risks associated with third-party add-ons, simply select, yes, to proceed. Next, find update official add-ons from and click on it, then select any repository. To manage updates effectively, I recommend setting it to, notify but don't install updates, as this will prevent any interruptions caused by automatic updates, especially since Arctic Fuse 2 receives regular updates. Now, return to the settings menu and navigate to File Manager. Scroll down and click on Add Source, then select None. Enter the URL displayed on the screen, also available in the description, which links to the zip file of JurioMonkey's alpha repository. You can move downwards and customize the name for easier reference. After that, click OK. Return to the settings menu again and go to Add-ons. Move down to install from zip file, locate the zip file you just added, and click on it to initiate the installation. After a few moments, it will be successfully installed. Next, go to install from repository, click on JurioMonkey Alpha repository, then navigate to look and feel and select skin. Choose Arctic Fuse 2 and click install. A list of the skin's dependencies will appear, click OK to allow these dependencies to install automatically alongside the skin. Once installation is complete, you'll see a prompt asking if you want to switch to the new skin. Click Yes, and another prompt will confirm whether you want to keep this change, select Yes once more. Allow the skin to reload, and you will then be taken to the startup wizard. The first step in the startup wizard allows you to select a color theme for your skin. You can change this at any time from the skin settings, so feel free to choose a color that you like and wait for it to load before clicking Next. The next step involves selecting your dialogue style, which can also be changed later in the skin settings. A brief description of the various dialogue styles will be provided below the options. Choose the style that appeals to you, allow it to load, and then click Close. In the next video, we will explore every setting, customization option, and provide tips and tricks, including some hidden features, in comprehensive detail. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. That's all from me for now, see you in the next part.